Hey guys, Tom Cherry, I'm the Linux MCE again. I just wanted to give you a quick status update. Uh, I just checked in a massive commit to SQL CVS to uh, do some designer changes. Uh, namely, uh, some of us actually may have uh, gyration mice and uh, Wiimotes that we want to be able to use under Linux MCE, and for the most part we can. Uh, UI2 does a very good job of supporting these uh, particular devices by only allowing you to need a couple of buttons for selection and to do a few specialized submenu selections. But it was missing a couple of things. Primarily one of the biggest things was it was missing a way to pause video and for something simple like being able to mute video as well. So um, what I basically did was add a couple of design objects to every major full screen implementation in UI2 so that play and pause can be done. Unfortunately it did require some shuffling around of different design objects and whatnot because uh, the different free, uh, the, full, the different full screen option screens that I used for this did not have UI2 variation records on them. So I had to take and shuffle some things around and wound up recreating some screens, etc, etc. But basically, I did it all so we could support devices like this guy right here, or um, even like uh, the Wiimote right here, which, by the way, guys, Wiimote support is coming very soon. I've checked in the code. There's still some things that I have to work out with the plug-and-play aspects of it, but the code is functional, and it's in the system. And my configuration files are already there so that you can use it as a primary remote and to use the con classic controller with uh, MAME. So uh, without any further ado, let's actually just uh, go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of do a little demonstration here. Now... Um, particularly, hold on a second while we, while the TV actually comes up here, it takes a few seconds. Okay, so now we have our UI2 display here, and I'm just going to go in and select a video or something to play, nothing out of the ordinary. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we have something nice to frame up here. Come on. There we go. So we have, yeah, so we have our UI2 display here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the menu. I'm going to go ahead, select video here. I'm just going to pick a video. Tomorrow with, tomorrow with. And as we're watching video here, one of the biggest problems that we had before was, okay, well, we're using a mouse and whatnot. We don't have a pause button, do we? Well, now we do. If you press the left mouse button anywhere on a screen, you now see play and pause buttons appear here for play, pause, and mute. And after 10 seconds, they will go away. Nice, convenient way to pause and unpause again. But this also shows you an aspect of Orbiter's UI that's important here. Orbiter's UI floats above everything else, so you can do tricks like that to create floating tablets, to floating menus and things above your media or any other devices here. And it does this intrinsically without you having to do much to support it. So, as you see, it works here for, um, for videos. It works for DVDs as well. I won't go into testing that. It works for audio pretty well too. So uh, let me go ahead and I'll just pick something here. And for audio, basically I have the uh, play and pause buttons always visible here. You'll also see that I moved the cover art up a little bit so that we can so that we could have everything in the same place here. And it's also available for TV. Now, even with TV, with TV I did test and make sure that we do have complete access to the keypad. The keypad still works and everything's fine.
and of course our gyroscope our gyroscopic operations for uh, our gyroscopic operations for cha uh, changing channels and whatnot are still there but we still have now now we have the play and pause operations here ready to go and it works so well So, I mean, hold on a second. Let's zoom back out. So, I mean, yeah, there you go. Uh, we have complete plan. Uh, uh, this is just an example of ways to utilize Orbiter's UI to provide additional functionality to smooth over the holes and whatnot. And you'll see a lot more of this coming in the 0810 release, but also in, in future subsequent releases as well. I hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, until next time, see you guys later.